So today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special fruit that I can't say the common name for it in the first minute of this video because I will probably get demonetized if I do. So I'm just going to give you the species for now. This is Capsicum chacoans, and I'm probably saying that wrong. There are five different cultivated species of capsicums, and this is not one of them. If you go to a supermarket, at least where I live in the United States, you're probably only going to come across capsicum anum. That includes bell peppers, jalapenos, uh, poblano peppers, Italian peppers, serrano peppers. Those are all capsicum anum. You might come across a habanero that is capsicum chinense, but there are also uh, three other ones. There's capsicum bacatum, which you'll find if you go to South America. There is uh, capsicum fruticens, which is most commonly sold as an ornamental pepper. And there's also capsicum pubescens, which you will find in Mexico and in South America. So those ones are commonly cultivated. This one is only cultivated a little bit, but more than that, I think people forage it. So I think it's been long enough where I can tell you the name of this chili pepper, at least the common name for it. See, uh, YouTube doesn't like it if you swear in the first minute of a video, and uh, the name of this is a swear word. So, um, kids, cover your ears, okay? <laughs> this is a bad word. Don't repeat this. Uh, it is, in Chile, called Aji Puta Madre, which means whore mother chili. And the reason for that is that although they are small and they seem like fairly innocuous, they are very, very hot. So people in Chile, they'll eat it and be like, ah, this chili's mother is a whore. So, yeah. So I have three different varieties of this, and because they are supposed to be so hot, I'm just gonna have one of them at a time, even though they are teeny tiny. This one, uh, Matt over at Matt's Peppers, labeled as just uh, Chacoans, just that name. So let's try it. It is hot. Oh, and bitter. <coughs> oh. Oh. Chili's mother is a. <laughs> oh. It's very funny to me to imagine somebody biting into this and calling this. Chili's mother a whore. That's like um, maybe the level of like a habanero. These are very small peppers, but they do pack a punch for their size. It's got a little bit of like a, like a stone fruit kind of taste, like a cherry taste, but more than anything, I am just tasting a little bit of bitterness and a lot of fire. I'm gonna go get a drink of water. All right, I think enough time has passed. I'm gonna try this one here, which uh, Matt labeled as another Chacoans. These ones are a different shape. They're kind of like pill-shaped instead of being round like the, the first one I tried. All right, let's try it. Very seedy. Not much of a taste to it. There's only like a little bit of skin around it. I'm mostly just getting a mouthful of seeds. It's a little chestnutty. I got a hint of like a berry taste. Not quite as hot. It's a little hard to tell <clears throat> because I just had one that was very hot. But yeah, I, I, I do feel that my my throat getting a little, little heated up again. So I think that this one does have heat to it, but it's a peg lower than the one that I had first. This one I think is not quite as good just because there's so many seeds in it. But, um, yeah, interesting, interesting. And finally, the largest of the three, I have this one, which is called uh, Cap 212. These look like the last one that I had, the, the second one of the series, but it's larger. It's a bit larger, probably like twice the size. So, more substantial. Does that mean it's going to have more flavor or more heat? Oh, let me take a, another drink of water here. Okay. It reminds me of, um, what are those called? Runts? You know, it was like the cherry runt. 
This one's giving me more like a mouth burn. The first two, those got me here. This one's getting me like on the tongue. <clears throat> yeah, and it's building. It's building. I'd say the heat on that one, the Cap 212, is somewhere between the first two. It's quite, it's not quite as hot as a habanero, but it's close, especially for the size. Like those are very small, but they pack a lot of heat. It's also one that's kind of like a slow burn, just in a different place. It doesn't like get you right away. It just slowly builds and builds and builds, and then you just got like this little smolder of fire in your mouth. <clears throat> Which is not necessarily a bad thing if you like spicy things. And I do like spicy things, I just don't like eating peppers whole <laughs> to, get, to get my kicks. Like, I would put this in something and be quite happy with it. And what's nice about all three of these is that you can use them whole. Like they're so small that you could like saute them with something that you're cooking, throw them into like a vegetable dish or like a stir fry or something, and it's gonna add a little punch to it. And you don't even have to like cut them up or anything. You'll just get like little peppery surprises every time you get one of them whole in your mouth, but yeah, that's not necessarily a bad thing. <coughs> <coughs> if you like spicy things. So, yeah, this has been a fun one. <clears throat> All three of these do have differences to them, which is interesting. I'd say out of the three, my favorite one is the first one, just the one that is labeled Chicoans. Then I'd go for the Cap 212. That one's really nice, but a little seedy, a little bit bitter. And then I go with this one. This one's got a a little bit less heat, but not as much flavor as the the first two, or the other two. I'm salivating a lot from all those chili peppers that I've had today, guys, so I think it's time for me to go. I'd like to give another shout out to Matt's Peppers for sending these to me. Thank you very much, Matt. Uh, it's really cool to get a chance to try so many different species of fruit, and when I'm trying a different species of fruit that is something um, that is related to things that I'm used to, things that are so ubiquitous, like peppers. There's so many peppers, so many peppers. However, if you go to the supermarket, you just find one. So to know that there's like nearly 30 different species out there and you're just not able to get them makes them more desirable to me because I want to try those and see how they compare to things that I know. So this one is really interesting, and I do see some of the similarities to other peppers. Like, some of the flavor in this reminds me a bit of habanero and other fruits that are in that species, species the chinense species. So, yeah, it's been a nifty one to try. Hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I would like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you want to help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.